Angry parents gathered to protest the mayor's decision to close New York City's public schools and switch to online learning. We were promised that decisions would be made based upon data and science. Well, the data and science are in, and the risk of spread in schools is low, and the harm that we are doing to our children is high. Mayor Bill de Blasio said the measure was necessary because the city's positive rate on coronavirus testing has hit the 3 percent threshold. After beating back the virus, the city has seen a late fall resurgence. But with restaurants and non-essential shops still open, parents have accused the mayor of a double standard. De Blasio says it's just a matter of time before other businesses will also be closed. Everyone who honestly might feel somehow a little better if they knew that indoor dining was going to be closed or gyms were going to be closed, I'm sorry to tell you that for the sake of those business owners and everyone who loves those gyms and loves indoor dining, it's just a matter of time. It's very likely to be in the next week or two. The decision comes as Americans begin making plans for Thanksgiving next Thursday. The holiday is one of the country's busiest travel periods, but some health experts are recommending two-week quarantines for those visiting areas with high infection rates. The CDC has taken it one step further, urging people to stay home and not travel for the holiday. For those playing it safe, Zoom has announced it's lifting its 40-minute time limit, allowing people to connect online for up to 30 hours on Thanksgiving.